Welcome to Off the Collar. That bored guy taking off his collar is the Reverend Les Carpenter. He is here to answer your questions, share your musings, and just be a generally helpful priest. This is a time for real questions, honest conversations, and occasionally holy moments. Um, something else that I kind of would like clarification on. Mm -hmm. Are we okay? Are we still recording? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is the tithe. Yeah. So they say 10%, but like, how does it work in the self-employed space? What are you supposed to do? Is it before or after or whatever? I don't know. Yeah. There's lots of schools of thought. Sure. Um, I mean, I think... I practice the tie that I think is important, but I also don't think that you should... Like, giving, was, giving wasn't created for the tithe. The tithe was created for giving. So it's like, first off, like I think that when you give of your money, of your time, of your heart, of your... Like, all of it... You gotta find a. You gotta do it in a way that's that is a gift. Like it can be. It could be a sacrifice, but it's still a joy. You know. Um, in fact, it should be a sacrifice and a joy. Like there's that like thin zone. I think. Um, uh, that being said, there is stuff in the Bible about giving ten percent of your income, and I think that um, it's impossible to like. This is the thing. This is the question I get more than anything else. People are like trying to figure out what to give. They're like, all of it would be too little. And some of it seems not enough. And so a lot of times people just don't give anything. Mm. Because there is no number that's right. So, um, 10% in our current economy is a lot for a lot of people. A lot more than a lot of people would think about. Um, uh, which, if for no other reason, that's a good number to think about like working towards. Um, in terms of how you do the like accounting, I mean... I think you need to go where your where your heart tells you go. Um, uh, you know, if you're holding back, why are you holding back? Are you holding back because that'll bring you to the resentment zone, or are you holding back because it hurts a little? Mm. Um, and I think if you're holding back, if you're like pre-tax, post-tax, whatever, I think that's how, I think that's what you do. I mean, uh, I. I think most self-employed people have a pretty decent idea of what they're going to make in a year. So if you you work out 10% of what that is, and maybe you hit the number and maybe you don't, maybe you end up giving more and you don't. I mean, uh, a pledge is not a contract. Yeah. You know, um, as much as I'd like to believe it is <laughs> and budget that way. But it's, but even the 10% is meant to be just the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but once again, like, I don't want people to give to the resentment zone. Yeah, I know. I just was curious because you know you see things. It and it's a whole family thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. There's a whole lot of shoulds. I'm not sure that shoulds has, has ever helped anyone. But. Um, but instead, think about it in terms of what you can do. Yeah. One of my favorite conversations I ever had with anybody about tithing was something was like, I didn't realize, like, I can do that. Mm. Like, she started the process, like, uh, Dave Ramsey or whatever, and she's like, I could, like, give this big gift. Um, yeah. At the same time, you know, there's other things like, it is a sacrifice. Like once we were trying to figure out where to go on family vac your family vacation, and we were thinking about this like sort of wild thing. We're like, well, we can't do that if we're tithing. And then, but then that was that made it really easy to give it up, mm. right? Because it's like, oh, because like all of a sudden I have power over my stuff, and my stuff doesn't have power over me. I think that's part of the flip um, that happens when you're giving proportionally based on percentage of income um, and significantly. 
is that the sacrifices that you make materially, it's no longer it's like I don't make enough money. It becomes like no, I want to give, and that's more important. It flips the script. Yeah. Thank you for watching Off the Collar. Join the conversation by emailing your questions to questions at adenschurch.org. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel from St. Aidan's Episcopal Church, Cypress, Texas. Okay. So I have no more clarity. <laughs> no kidding. Absolutely. <laughs> so whatever number you were thinking about, double it, and that's the number you... <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let me look. The rich this. man comes to Jesus and says, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus is like, eh, follow the commandments. He's like, I've always done that. He's like, okay, well then sell half of your whatever you own and give it to the poor. <laughs> that Jesus dude, he cracks me up. Right? <laughs> <laughs>